is up guys it's soul bash welcome back and i am sorry it has taken me so long to get another video out but i wanted to take a little time off the past month has been a bit crazy i moved had a birthday did a lot of stuff with the family and i'm finally back i just needed a break mobas get kind of ragey at times so taking a break from it's probably the best thing instead of continue to play so here we go I'm going to do a custom build on Striker. It's kind of a troll. Now, this is previously recorded, so yes, we're going back and looking at it now. Uh, for this build, I really wouldn't recommend too many people trying this if you're not experienced with the character and kind of knows what's going on. But for this, I'm going to go tanky on Striker and basically troll some people. Now, these guys uh, were up against Sakura Jonic Maxim. This match is why I chose to do this because all of these guys are high DPS or high damaging melee characters. So all they're going to be doing is regular damage. They're not going to be doing any magic damage. So basically just build into a tank basically to support my team because these guys can both be ADCs as well. Now going in mid buff, it's still a little iffy to me. We've yet to find out how or who gets it depending on who's standing on it and i got bursted so much right there nobody really had crimson right there so i wasn't worried about getting hit with it we lost one right here and we're gonna drop one down bottom which is raven i do have raven now so be looking for a video for that coming soon as well we're running uh striker and brie up top i'm gonna go back real quick we'll skip this part all right so back in it it's Sakura and I believe Jonic in top lane. Yes, it is. And this game went on for quite a while. And I do have to say it was hilarious because of what happens throughout the video. And you'll see the trash talking and the shit talking coming from another team. And all you're doing is wasting your time when you're sitting there typing people. And this shows you exactly what happens if you start to shit talk. I'm moving down. We basically tried to farm up as much as we could. Now playing bottom lane, I've kind of got a little rotation set if I do go bottom lane. But top lane, I was playing support with Striker because think about it. Most people, when they see Striker, they're thinking, oh, he's a squishy, gonna go in. We can stun him, get him caught up, and just take him out. But with his abilities going tanky a little bit or a lot, it kind of does help he can support fairly well because you're still going to be doing pretty moderate damage to people because of your abilities um the one that does splash damage on everything and then you've got your dot and the ultimate which of course stuns everybody in it and at tier three it does i believe 650 damage i believe so i, I rarely ever take him up to tier four for this um and right here mistakes were kind of made as you see there there wasn't really anything i could do to get that sakura off of her but i probably could have stayed in right here a little bit longer and killed that sakura because i was, I was so tanky already and he dropped in gonna push back so we're gonna have to go back all right another thing before i continue with commentary on this i do want to talk about a post that i put on the forums i've come back after like two weeks of not playing all right, and a lot of the bugs that I've been seeing, some of them have been around since beta. So I made a long post and put it on the forums. I'll leave the link to that post in the description. Guys, please go to this post, leave your feedback, let them know this is not only happening to me and a few other people. If it's happening to you, let them know because it seems like they're not listening to some of the stuff. Now right here, I was hoping that striker would have dashed away from me a lot faster than he did that's why i threw my ultimate that way not striker but the sakura that way he would have been caught in it but he didn't and those teleports i've been having to spam the teleport button just for it to go off you see i had to hit it two times there for it to actually teleport me but guys go to this post it's right there down in the description check it out please because we do need your feedback on this as well because they're not just going to listen to one person. If only one person's having a problem, they're just going to blow it off. Because obviously, over the past two months, it hasn't been changed or fixed yet. 
for one striker is one of the ones that is having problems i don't remember if i encountered any of that in this match but sometimes like for instance if somebody's in the bush or if they're not in the bush if you throw your ultimate out and they run in the bush while your ultimate is down it doesn't hit them your ultimate doesn't go off and you've got a cooldown timer on your ultimate which is like 40 something seconds or longer to begin with for tier one and it's mind-boggling so we built into two pieces of defense basically all we're going to go into movement speed now basically i'm trying to move around where i can assist my adc in the top lane and of course our adc in the bottom lane but they've got a lot of push as well that maxim's doing a lot of damage and for this match that maxim pretty much did carry this team uh these other guys it really wasn't that much of a force you see how much damage i'm doing to them right now he should have died right there all he needed was a stun and it would have been over both of them were really low right there and see i'm tanky i'm not building in anything and you see how much damage i was able to keep sustained on these guys it's just building up against them i was going to go back but i decided to stay and that was a mistake i should have just stayed back now mistakes do get made as you'll see things happen you'll learn from them but if you don't learn from them you're going to continue to make them this right there as you can see he wasn't even in the range of course i'm getting 3v1 right here if he wouldn't that's that's another thing that kind of irks me a little bit the raven ability kind of stopping you your own teammates as well that's what kind of irks me with that ability i mean i don't really think it should be able to stop your own teammates yeah i mean if somebody else uses it on the opposite team yes you can stop all three of us but getting inside of it with your own teammates you can really basically just troll your own team set them up for failure if you don't watch what you're doing with this now raven's not actually bad to run with this setup because it's two range people raven running with range people is better than running with melee because you're going to run into the problem of once that ultimate goes off you're not going to be able to stay in there now once towers go down on the bottom a lot of people don't ever try to come back down here they don't really watch unless somebody starts pushing back towards the second tower that's a bad thing because you're losing out on a lot of stun you see right there he was not even close to that but he still got stunned with that i don't have a it's another thing i've kind of had a problem with is the stun radius of it the graphic for it doesn't actually follow how far it goes out or at the actual radius of his ultimate um there's just a lot of small issues with the game that need to be fixed of course i know they said they wanted to fix a lot of stuff before rank came out and a lot of it is still in the game from what i see um because i mean i can play the game within three hours and counter just about every error or every problem that i've come across since playing the game to begin with i'm not complaining i'm not bashing king nine but something has to be done um and this is where the trash talking starts they're up just a little bit and as you can see he didn't get stunned he was in the bush he was not anyway so affected by that we caught him off right there six to twelve and this guy right there this is the main trash talker you're all noobs it was quite funny because after the match was over i went in and basically showed him that yeah you got like a 60 something percent win rate and you want to sit here and talk trash in a game i found it quite hilarious that people are still doing that now getting back up to my build all right we've got two tank items to begin with i picked up the movement speed which is the faster movement speed it gives you 65 and then we went with glacier armor and the reflective damage uh, the only reason i went with that is because they're not really expecting me to be that tanky and when they do hit me it's going to do damage back to them if they do get that close i'll be able to drop my ultimate on top of them as well and hopefully one of my adcs will be close enough as you can see there we did get called off and that maxim is going to come through take out bria and just run everybody down maxim is really fast 
and being able to get away from him is really hard because his dash comes back so fast. That's the only perk from Striker is having that surfboard right there that's gonna save your butt. And just trying to hold him back. Uh, if you don't know how much damage uh, Jonic is able to do at that level, as you can see level 11, it's a, a lot of a damage he's able to put out. Surviving Sakura's ultimate right there, letting my guys do more damage to him. Take Jonic out and push these guys back away from this base. We lost everything right here on the bottom. So it's nothing but our Nexus, our home base, whatever you want to call it that's out in the open. Uh, whoever's played different MOBAs, they call them different things. But now our bottom lane is wide open. We did get to take a couple of them out there. We're, at, we're down eight to 14 at this current. Now he starts bitching at his own teammate. This is where you take even more time. Guys, if you're not using a voice chat server and you're sitting there typing to your teammates, you are wasting time. I do recommend you to have Discord. It is very mobile friendly. Got him with that one right there, but he did get away. As you can tell, I'm tanky, so I don't have a lot of extra damage. I'm more utility in this. We got maximum there because of that dot. That's why I was saying I'm still gonna be useful in the end. And I'm not, I'm not sure why people are so adamant that Raven is so OP. There's counters to Raven. I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet. We're gonna work on it and let you try to figure out what Raven's counter is. But this was kind of the turning point of the match when we took those out right here. We got to take that down, come back, clean this out. Raven finished up on the fireballs right there. So Raven picks up the buff. Now that buff, if I'm correct, it lasts three minutes. So if you don't use it within three minutes, it does go away. You can see like the lightning buff on me right now. It's right above me. Once it goes off, it's done. You don't have it anymore if you don't use it. Now that's the cult current build right there. The reason I went with that last piece right there is because of the slope. Since I'm basically supporting them and basically being CC controlling, that last ability is gonna let me basically slow them down. Um, especially on some characters like uh, Darren. Darren, that is like a key item because he slows people down so much and it's good to use now we're staging up 11 to 14 seeing kind of what they're going to be pushing for as you see all three of them at the map right there at the bottom they're looking to push that bottom lane so we're going to stage bush they're going to try to come up soccer is going to get it first i'm going to save the ultimate a little bit Caught Striker with it. He's out first. He really didn't get to do any damage to anybody. There's the ultimate right there from uh, Raven, and we've got them all on the run. Now you see, here comes the slow in effect. I can't get away from him. Maxim still does quite a bit of damage. That, and he is quite boosted. Uh, I don't think I, what level was I at that current time? He's 15. I'm probably level 12 right now. So he, had, he did have a good three levels on me. Now, um, my FPS kept spiking a little bit. I'm not sure what the deal has been with the FPS lately. Yeah, I was level 12, so he got three levels on me. So surviving that, that's that's rare, uh, especially being so tanky and looking at even dropping down from running bottom. Your bottom people that are running, they're usually gonna get about two to three extra levels on you before in game, unless you're taking the farm away from the opposite team and look how much damage he's able to do. Uh, Sakura ran right into that ultimate and we're able to hold back, take him out. I'm so tanky, Sakura's coming in now. He takes out Bria. I'm gonna go around top, kind of get him off guard and they're gonna catch me up. Nope, that teleport saves me, jump right back over and I'm just gonna go right back in and see what Jonic's got. Now I am tanky, here's both of them come back in. He's gonna knock me up. It's probably gonna keep me from getting back to the base because of that slow. Jonic's using the slow and that is what is keeping me back. Uh, the Phoenix Blades, I believe, is the same thing he was using as I was. And here we go, guys, look, 13 to 19. 
this is where the mad shit talking comes into play we're gonna go with the peerless to begin with because that's gonna decrease the amount of damage that i take i believe it's about 10 percent at tier 2 it might be eight percent it's been a few days since i've looked at the actual stats on those but after recovering we're just gonna go farm farming is all we're gonna be able to do we only need one death left and you got raven out in the mid and i'm gonna set up on jonic if he's gonna come to me we're gonna take him out i've got my ultimate up gonna catch both of them in it nope jonic flashed and got away from it sakura i wasn't too too really worried about because i can set him up i can take his damage when i'm tanky like this as you can see i'm still doing moderate damage myself bria comes in with the stun and here comes the save teleport back refresh that was really really close but being that tanky i wasn't too too worried about damage coming from sakura because i'm able to handle it fire giant was killed again right there by raven i didn't even get a chance to get back raven killed that so fast raven does have a lot of damage output and if you're wondering what the builds are on these characters uh after the match is over i'll pause it on the build section that way you can see what was built by everybody but here we go 16 19 we've been down they only needed one kill for quite a while now and i love these types of matches competitive yet people make dumb mistakes shit talking is one of them because all you're doing is wasting your time all right here they come let Raven catch him first. I'm gonna get my ultimate in there as well. We take one of them out easily. Twisted Fate, he's going down next. And Maxim, you're 3v1. No chance. He's gonna try to run, teleport in, and get him with that. Yes, we did. I would be very mad too. Now look at the score, 19 to 19. And all they've got to say is blame it on the legend. Nothing's wrong with the legend, it's the players. You gotta make smart plays guys if not you're gonna this is gonna happen and it happens quite often and of course a jonic would blame it on a raven i mean what what else are you gonna blame it on your jonic i mean you're playing one of the easiest and most actually has the farthest range of anybody in the game they lose this tower right here that gives us an extra good bit of chunk of gold and this is basically the end of the match right here look in the middle i'll zoom in a little bit so you can see we were going back to heal up i didn't have much mana raven stage in bush sakura went to get buff you see right there he dashed in i'm pretty sure he got ultimate and taken out there wasn't really much he could do gg guys this is what shit talking brings we took a win on that thank you for watching guys i'll pause it on this so you can see exactly what we use but thank you so much guys for watching i'm really sorry for the delay in videos we will have one coming out every day this week i promise we will get caught up thank you so much for staying subscribed and if you are not subscribed please click that subscribe button as always like comment and subscribe i am so bash you guys have a nice day